Hey, designers. We are going to make a sparkle effect like this. Open After Effects. Take a new composition, the height and width 1000 by 1000. Now let's go to the project and import our picture. Right click, Import, File. I will select this wristwatch. Import. Drag and drop this watch on the timeline. If you need to change the position or rotation of your object you can do it, but here I do not need to do any adjustments to the picture. First of all I will rename it. Now go to Effects and Presets and search Checkerboard. This is it. Drag and drop it to the watch layer. Now change the blending mode from none to stencil alpha. Make the weight 20. Now close the properties of checkerboard. We will duplicate this checkerboard affect by pressing Ctrl D on the keyboard. Now make its width 30. Close the properties of checkerboard 2. Now we will make another copy of this checkerboard affect by pressing Ctrl D on the keyboard and make its width 50. After this go to Effects and Presets and search CC Pixel Poly. Drag and drop it on the watch. Make the force 10. Gravity 0. Make the direction randomness 35. Speed randomness 55. Grid spacing 5. OK. Make the force center at the bottom because if the force center is in the bottom the sparkle will float upwards. Good. This is what it looks like now. In the Effects and Preset Search Glow. Drag and drop it on the watch. Make the Glow Threshold 45. Radius 14. Let's see what it looks like. OK, let's make the Glow Radius 35. Now put the bar on the 2 second frame. Press T for opacity. Add a keyframe to the opacity. Move the bar to the 4 second frame. Make the opacity 0%. Now select the watch layer, go to the layer properties and pre-compose it. I will name it Sparkle. Now we are going to duplicate this pre-composed watch by pressing Ctrl D on the keyboard. With the bar on the first frame press T on your keyboard for opacity. Make the opacity 0%. Now move the bar to the 1 second frame and make the opacity 100%. OK. Move this layer to 1 second. Let's see the effect. Perfect. Now go to Project and drag and drop the watch layer on the timeline again.
Okay, now put one sparkle effect layer on top of the watch layer. Change its blending mode from normal to multiply. Finally, the amazing effect is applied. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any confusion ask me in the comment section do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel.